So, for my math peeps, this is the only math equation I'll ever throw at you. 1, 1, 3, 3, 5, 2, 7, 5. Those are basically the prompts you can overlap between common application and coalition application, saving time and yes, writing less. Stay tuned. Thank you for joining me on my channel. For the best college essay advice, subscribe and hit the bell to be notified when I post a new video every Tuesday. There are four prompts you can use to recycle the same exact essay for the common application and the coalition application, saving you time and grief. Hi, I'm Dr. Josie with Write Your Acceptance. With hundreds of students already in college and graduates by now, I know how to make them remember you and root for you. Now let's get to work. Prompt one, the identity prompt. So this essay, if you wanna recycle it exactly the same, you wanna make sure that you offer some thoughtful reflection on how your identity came to be. So what were the aspects that helped shape it? So that kind of journey aspect of and growth of your identity. Okay, so a student example. Female student, Hispanic, writes about debate and how that has demonstrated, shaped her identity. She starts with a massive defeat in the debate circuit and then how she dedicated that summer to a debate camp and basically a job, like a full-time job and a half, just bettering her skills. She returns to the debate uh, circuit and her and her partner beat an all-state male uh, team. And as they're coming off the stage, they hear whispers about how they won just because they're girls and because they're Hispanic and they, the judges kind of didn't know what to do with that. And so then she starts reflecting on identity and how she starts to learn that identity is something that kind of can walk into a room before almost you can, that people have assumptions and sometimes biases about it, but the lessons that she's learned about this. And so then instead of getting upset, she pays it forward and now she coaches middle school all girl debate um, teams and so to kind of prep them for that hard knock life later on, right? So that it's not always kind of roses, but that they have grown and learned and just ready to kind of help others pave the way for an easier transition to, to kind of really shine in what she kind of is experiencing as like a male dominated space. Next prompt is three, three. So basically it's on questioning a belief. You wanna make sure that you establish a cause and effect so what you believed and then how that changed, what you learned, the new information that you kind of gathered and how you kind of learned to adapt or reframe your thinking. Sometimes students miss the mark on this one because they try and kind of convince the admission officers of their belief. And really you're trying to kind of show a shift, a change in that kind of paradigm in your questioning, in your belief system. So you're trying to show flexibility in your belief system, but then also conviction in core values. And that kind of dance um, is tricky sometimes. Student example. I have a student who wants to go into pediatrics oncology one day. And so she's always thought that cancer is way too expensive, the, the medications. How can cancer medications be so expensive to the point where families can't even afford it for their sick babies. And so she talks about in a narrative form, kind of paragraph two, as she's like walking into a hospital because she started a, an arts and craft activities um, game for kids with cancer. And so she sits down with the hospital administration pitching her activities and then she starts to learn a little bit about funds and allocating funds and how it's a lot more complicated and murky than, than she once expected. And so, um, and then she goes into how she one day wants to go to medical school, serve this population, and I'm gonna read this last line to kind of show you how she moves a little bit in her paradigm shift, right? So she vows to take her skepticism to vigilantly ensure quality care for kids whose families can't afford it. So she no longer has this kind of one-liner, you know, um, there's some kind of vigilante, some thief stealing all this money, uh, why is cancer care so expensive, right? It's mo much more complicated, much more gray, and she's kind of taking the skepticism that she had at first to really kind of become a little bit more informed while serving her community and, and doing the arts and craft activities for kids. Are you stuck on your topic and how to adapt your essay for both platforms? Comment below, I'd love to help. Next prompt is the 5-2 equation, the accomplishment essay. So this one is tricky because a common application is asking you to look inward and how you grew and kind of what you learned. And the coalition application is asking you to look outward. What contributions, what social good did you do? And so you want to kind of start with the outward. You want to say something about maybe in story form and then reflect upon it through the critical thinking aspect 
on what you did that had tangible social good no matter how small and then lo and behold what you learned kind of what was the shift inward what did you grow what did you learn how did you grow from it and so then you have both student example student has a heart condition as a child has to have kind of multiple surgeries and stays in the hospital for two weeks and he maintained this kind of frustration about have, having to wait for the one arcade game on his hospital floor. And so now he's in high school, he still maintained as he's grown up some relationship with that hospital and the doctors. And so he set out a fundraising campaign to buy one more arcade game. And well, he starts the fundraising at school, then kind of catapults that to the next level on social media, and he raised $75,000 and got to buy two arcade games for that hospital floor. I can't make this up. You guys are just agents for change, amazing, amazing human beings. Um, so he was totally an inspiration. And so then the last paragraph on this essay is reflecting how kind of doing something for someone else kind of helps him not only grow and feel good, but also uh, feel powerful. Like he can actually do something and, and change the world in a small way. And so there is kind of looking inward and what the social good was. And in that balance, you have a perfect essay for both platforms. Finally, prompt seven or five is the open topic. And this is a total freebie. So make sure that you um, basically stay on track. And I have another video on the open topic specifically to make sure that you kind of have some kind of control, some blinders to stay on track no matter what. You don't want to kind of go off tangent too much. Um, so you want to have a kind of a centralized message, but it's a freebie. It's an open topic. You can basically adapt any topic that you that you want to kind of fit in here. Want more essay ideas and topics and templates? I have a free college essay guide to download in the description below. Peep it. And if you like this video, you found it helpful, please give us a like, subscribe, and share with your fellow college-bound uh, friends. Thank you. I'll see you soon.